Hey guys, welcome back to Return of the Obra Dinn. Really, really excited to get back into this game. I've been thinking about it a lot since I last played, which was yesterday, by the way. I've written down a few notes, a few things to check out. So I'm in a really good state of mind going into this episode. I'm excited. I think we're going to do a good job, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> let's just get started. All right, so this is where we left off. This, um, I remember this guy, he was saying, Brennan, get the med kit. Uh, I'm going to just have a very, very quick look through my book before we start. I want to look, <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm absolutely trying my best here. What I was thinking about, right, is that we know the captain, we know the first mate. If I could um, check out the first mate, I reckon he would be in a similar sort of uniform to the second, third and fourth. So they may be quite similar. And same with the cook and the butcher. Perhaps if I could uh, check them out... I may be able to track them down here, if that makes sense. Like that guy, he's got an apron on. That guy's playing a, he's a musician. Is there a role called entertainer or musician? No, I don't think so. It was worth a shot. Worth a shot. That guy, oh, he has an apron on too. You know what? He could possibly be the cook. I reckon he could be, oops, he could be the cook, that guy. What I would like to do is see this fella. I reckon he's like the cook. Uh, I don't have sufficient information. Okay, well, we don't we don't want that just yet then. Uh, that's a lady, a lady, Abigail. So there's two ladies there and that's another lady. That lady was in a memory. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Show memories on deck map, first memory. Can I rewatch that memory? I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure if I can actually replay that memory. I, I may have to actually look that up because I I need to find out something. I want to. I, I just want to replay the memories. But let's just carry on, and we'll work on the escape which is the chapter that we're actually up to so this oh no you're cut so that guy speaking he is scottish brennan bring the surgeon's kit that's what's been on my mind brennan bring the surgeon's kit and also tell pete's mother i try my best to pull him back to save him that also makes me think that maybe pete was the one that was taken by the kraken but I'm going to just uh, see if I can track down Brennan and also this gentleman. He's um, he's Scottish, the guy kneeling. So I'm, I'm going to track that down. Okay, so we haven't seen that body just yet. I, I really wanted to do that, but... I think I, I just have to keep going. Alrighty. So that's where that fellow, that's where that fellow was just there. All right, so let's get out. So that, now that's given us a new body, something else to track down and examine, and that fellow's body there. 
on the floor. And um, look, I, I just want to do this guy first. Part six of six, escape. Oh no, you're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! Okay. Alright, so you. You're Scottish. So you. Do I have you in a picture, sir? Do I have you in a picture? So that's you. You're the guy with the hat on. Oh, that's the first mate. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So if you think about it then, that's the captain, the first mate. And we have a couple of other guys with hats on, right? So if we can sort of identify them, he's going to have to be like a second mate. How many mates do we have? <laughs> How many mates do we have? So we have first, second, third, and fourth. Alrighty. So I, I'm thinking... I mean, he's obviously not Pete because he was talking about Pete and he said, Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. We can see two fellows here that could possibly be Brennan that he's calling out to. But to me, I think it makes sense that Brennan is this fellow because he's listening. He's actively listening. I mean, that guy could be Brennan, he's coming down the stairs, but I really feel that that cupping of the ear is a huge clue as to that fellow. I'm just going to find him in this picture. So that's you. That's you there. You're Brennan. I'm going to pop down... Henry Brennan Seaman. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, that that's what I've got. That's what I have got. We obviously know that that guy he is not Paul. I wish that I had a way of making notes um on their little pictures. That's him there. I I just I would love to have a little section here uh, to type in. Like, I, I just want to put not Paul. <laughs> Pete, Pete, tell Pete's mother. If My goodness, this is not boding well, is it? Not well, not well. So, one moment. If you're a seaman, you have that uniform on with the little neckerchief. It looks kind of similar to you. Your shirt is open though. You. I don't know what I don't know what happened. Don't know what happened to you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got no idea what happened to you. Okay, I think we're ready. I think I'm happy to to move on that's pretty much all that I can all that I can do right now with that particular scene so let's pop out I've rewatched that memory and now we can uh, try and go ahead and determine a little bit a little bit more so we know about you We know about you. These ones down here. You're new because um the little the little the hands haven't come up on the pocket watch. There's um 
nothing down there. All right, well, let's do, let's do this poor fellow. Okie dokie. All right. So. Oh, he got knifed in the back. Damn. So he was crawling in there. And um, you. You're going over to be with him in that room there. You've been uh, clubbed. He had a gun. That guy's been shot. So I reckon he shot him. He clubbed him. Then I think that that fellow there has been knifed in the back by that, that guy there. <laughs> okay. So that fellow coming down the stairs didn't kill anyone in this room. He had nothing to do with it. <laughs> very interesting uh, I love it I love it but it's difficult who is this and how did they die right well let's um just give me give me a chance give me a chance give me a chance so You're crawling in there. Alright, who is this and how did they die? What's all this, you damn fool? So you... So we're working on, right now, that fellow, I believe. He's obviously been shot. Yep, that's the guy that got shot. He got clubbed. Okay, all right. We're getting there. So this guy is new. Yes, he was shot, and then someone comes along and clubs him, which is you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. What's happening there? <laughs> oh, that's the captain, I think, isn't it? Not good, not good. So you were definitely knifed in the back. You were knifed by... I want to say that guy that shot the other guy. Oh, sometimes I just wish I had more time to, in those moments, to figure out the scene. Right, so we have quite a few things to figure out here. <gasps> that guy. What about what about 
you? Who's you? You're that guy with the hat on. So you obviously died by... You got uh, shot by a gun, by an unknown attacker. I don't know if I've worked out that guy yet. No, unknown. All right. You, sir, with a little uh, neckerchief, you got knife. I'm quite sure you got knifed by that guy. I'm going to guess that. There's blood. There's drops of blood here, right? And then a lot of blood there. It, it, the drops of blood I don't think belong to that guy because that's a lot of his blood just there. Oh, you. You, you, you came down and you clubbed that guy. Because that, that's what happened. Like, what is... What's going on here, though? I don't know what these fellows are up to. Is he trying to push him overboard, or...? There's a lot of blood. You, you know what? That guy is dead. If I find out that guy's name, he was clubbed by the captain, I think. Don't know his name, though. You've got a lot of blood coming out. So you, sir, I think unknown okay we're not up to that not up to that part just yet yeah and that's the captain yes he's the captain you know he's holding on to his gun it's possible that oh no 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 look at that it's a knife a sword i'm quite sure that guy's being stabbed with that sword all right um so you we don't know your name oh yes that's um <gasps> that's henry brennan well in that case you i know you sir were clubbed by henry brennan That that's um I'm 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 happy to go with that. I am, I am. I, I think I think I think that is uh that's a good one. Look, I'm curious about these fellows. What on earth are they up to? Yes, what are you what are you pair doing? <laughs> I must know. Let them go. Let them go. So, miss, quite a good, quite a good shot there. So you shot that fellow. You shot that guy. Oh, hang on, wait, wait, wait. But the captain's gun is—he didn't do it. It's um. Whoa. Okay. So what? Are, oh. Okay. So they were trying to escape. These people here were trying to escape. That's possibly the lady's husband. Okay, so those people were simply trying to escape. And 
some people didn't want them to. Like the captain was shooting, but I don't. He was he was shooting at the man or aiming at the man, going after the people in the in the boat. All right, all right. So you died, sir, by getting shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. It was a female, so you're a, you're a female. So this is going to go to the ladies? Oh no, the guy, um, my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, honestly, sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming, but I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Last one. Move quick. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of people there. All right, so we heard the lady say, Paul, look out. The captain's coming up. I don't know whether he is wanting to let them go. Uh, that, that lady, you can see that she is reaching or gest gesturing towards that fellow I think that is possibly the person that she's connected with so perhaps that is Paul and you if you look at her hand you can see that she has a wedding ring so it's quite possible that she is married maybe her husband is Paul there's another lady in the boat there that's not Abigail, obviously. Okay, I think I'm narrowing a few things down. Who is this? How did they die? I am... I'm thinking that's Paul. Last one, move quick. You'll not take the last boat. I think he said that. Paul, look out, that lady said. Stop, let them go. I'm pretty sure the captain said that. All right. Um, okay, so what I would like to... What I would like to do is I think that this fellow... I think he's called Paul. He was obviously stabbed. Oh, uh killed by a sword unknown soul i'm pretty sure his name is paul paul moss first mate's steward are there any other pauls no i am quite sure that that is that's paul i'm going to pop him down as paul and he was um Yes, it, 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 it has to be him being Paul because the lady is reaching towards him after calling his name and, and she said, Paul, look out. So she has a wedding ring. Could she be Paul's uh, wife at all? Unknown. This is a deduction rating. Okay. A higher rating means that it will be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on the easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Oh, okay. But, um, but I still want to have a look. 
I'm looking for a female name. Emily Jackson. So Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird. Well, they're not going to be a seaman or a topman, so they just have to be a passenger. Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird. That Miss, I think, is important. I think the Miss says that she isn't married. And we can clearly see that whoever this lady is has a ring. There's only two females. I think that this lady is Emily Jackson. I'm going to, I'm just going to pop that in there. So in that case, this is the only other female. So then I think she must be Miss Jane Bird. I can always change it. I, I can, I can change, I can change the names. So I'm just going to leave that in there for now. All right, so what's happening down here? Ooh, you're being sneaky. Oh gosh. Okay. You know, maybe that isn't blood. Maybe that's water or I'm not too sure. I don't know. That looks kind of like blood to me. Like you're just sitting there, sir. Just sitting there like that. I don't know what's happening to you. Kind of just passed out and, and you have no idea what's going on. And you, you're obviously, you're listening in. You have that um, neck scarf on. There was another one with a little neck scarf. And that uh, signified he was a seaman, I think. It was uh, Paul, it was Brennan. He had the little scarf on. All right, now <laughs> there's a lot to do. There's so much to do in this one. I'm just trying to take it one little bit at a time. All right, let's see what happens here then. Oh, okay, so we have to go downstairs for our next scene. Oh, this guy. Yes, I'm curious. I am curious. Why, why was, what's he doing? Passed out or dead? Obviously dead. What happened to you? Okay, <laughs> he's got an accent, but I can't place it. I'm thinking it's either, I think it's French. He did say, where is my Frenchman? Does he have um, someone that, that works for him? Like, um, like a, not a first mate, but just, just someone that, that helps him and works for him. I, I don't know what's happened to him. Looks like it, it, he's missing an arm. Did his arm get torn off by the Kraken? Or did it get uh, shot? He's in a bad way, they said. We've got those two fellows watching. He's leaving, but I think he's going upstairs. <laughs> oh. 
gets a bit overwhelming. There's just so much to try and work out. Who is this? How did they die? I honestly don't know. Easy now, you're in a bad way. The squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Okay, so where is my Frenchman? In the officer's mess. Then I'm wondering, where is my Frenchman? <gasps> Hang on, wait. Wait, when he said, where is my Frenchman? I said that I felt that it was someone that works for him. If you look here, Alfred Klestel is the bosun from Austria, which could be that accent. And this guy here, Charles Minor, the bosun's mate, France. I think I have to write this down because I don't know which one is um, is the Frenchman. So I'm thinking that the guy in question is Alfred. Don't know how he died though. And that's his mate. He was torn apart. Okay, let me just take a second though to look down the list and see if there's any more Frenchmen that could be a mate. No, that's it. Okay, so I've worked that out. Cool, there's only one French guy. Awesome. Okay, so. You, sir. You, sir, are Alfred. I don't know how he died, though. He's the bosun. You know what? You know what? I'm thinking that guy. Mm, I'm thinking that guy could be his mate because he's standing right beside him. It could be. It might not be. I want to check out the bosun's mate torn apart. Was he torn apart by the beast as well? I know that there was another fellow with the tattoos. He was uh, torn apart. Bosun's mate. Oh, see, I don't know who that guy is. Okay, we might just have to wait a bit. We'll just have to wait a little bit. Okay. I feel I feel really good. I'm pretty sure I've I, I've identified that fellow. So you're the first mate. Who are you, and what are you do doing down there? Oh, I don't know who you are. You dress nicely though. You're the captain. Yeah. Not sure your name. Not sure your name either. They're two important people though. They have nice hats on. <laughs> I don't know how this fellow died, but you can sort of see that his arm is missing, but I don't know if it's always been like that. All right. I'm going to just head out now. Oh, we have to a new chapter already. Disappearances. Four wayward souls disappear during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. Yes, I don't know what happened to the ladies. Does that mean that I didn't find their bodies? In that chapter? I'm just going to take a little look around because I just don't want to, I don't want to miss anything. Sometimes it's 
a little bit difficult. I'm trying to find... What's that? What's that thing there? Okie dokie, so you're getting shot by that fellow. He looks like he's kidnapping that lady. Or maybe he's just pulling her back, protecting her. Chicken! They're trying to leave. They're just trying to leave and that guy don't know whether he's trying to just pull them back, stop them from leaving. That's someone there. We don't know who that guy is. Chapter 3, Murder. going almost back to the beginning now. Outside the first mate's window. Who is this? How do they die? Well, he was, um, he was shot. The corpse was moved post-mortem. Okay, so obviously he was shot. <laughs> oh, we're going to this fellow. Interesting. I'm very curious. Oh, we're back in. Okay. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Yeah, that, that fellow. We're going to go and see that fellow. I hope I've done the right thing. I'm just sometimes a little bit nervous that I haven't done everything correctly <laughs> I, I I I love this game but it is a little bit um it's a little bit tricky at times but I found I found this all the way tucked in the corner over there being sick but oh <laughs> you're not being sick are you buddy you're getting um maybe crushed oh you're the artist oh i'm sorry how do i get to the crew so the artist we want to find the artist and it looks like he was crushed by the beast. So where is he? Where's his name? There, artist. Um, who is it? Oh, I don't think he drew himself, to be honest. But looking at that, well, that that's him. I don't know if I don't know if he's there. He's just I don't know if he is actually identifiable. <laughs> You've got some cutlery. 
so he's maybe trying to help. There's some... Ooh, there's a body in there. Look at that. There's someone in there. Okay. Oh, we've gone back to... Oh. Because I... We've gone back here because I have found... I found him. So he was crushed by a beast. Yes. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that. Oh man. <laughs> I just honestly hope that I am doing the right things. I feel... I just feel very nervous. I thought I saw a person in one of these... In one of the... Oh, I do. I thought they're dead, but um, no. They're probably just sleeping. What are those things? 56. 57. Do they all have numbers? X. So that's 10. What does that mean? 45, 43, 44, 36, 49, 48. Okay, well, let's just, we'll keep that in mind. So you're, you've got some food. You guys are taking it somewhere. Let's go upstairs. This fella. Oof. Okay, so what's this? What are they doing up here? This guy. So that's what I that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so we've done you. We haven't done you. We've done you. You were torn apart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just hope that I'm doing the right thing here. I want to um see the beds again oh gosh but we've gone that was back in time and now this is oh the beds might be under no I was just curious about those beds nice but there's nothing really there for me to check out I'm going to check in all of those doors regardless I think we've been in that one yes I remember <laughs> I'm curious about that I clicked on it Kicks 
so. <laughs> Never been on a farm, Chuck. Mind your shoes now. Okay, never been on a farm, Charlie. Never been on a farm, Charlie. That's Charlie. You're Charlie. Charles. Is there just one Charles? Okay, see, I didn't think that he had a French accent so then I think you may be that Charles the bosun's mate yeah I think you're that guy I think that's you you're Charlie you're being sick so you guys um that's the that's the butcher yes can I identify him by butcher there butcher okay um uh, I just want to find that scene again uh, what 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 is that scene I think we're in the doom now no, we've done the doom. So what are we up to? We were, we were up to... Oh, we're doing murder, aren't we? It goes back and forth sometimes and I get a little bit confused. I can't find it now. I can't find that now, but you're the... He did say take it to the carpenter. Not really sure what that has to do with anything. He's got a monkey. Look at that fella. <laughs> He's got a little pet monkey. That's um, oh, that's, oh, not enough time. Not enough time there. A bit of cold. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. Yes. So it, it seems that um, I, I was doing a, another chapter and now we've gone on to this chapter. I am getting <laughs> honestly uh, a wee bit confused. I, I have to be honest. Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped and see to the last rites. I'm honestly not sure here guys and I have to apologize if I am doing something wrong <laughs> but I am trying my best all right well let's um let's check out this we'll we'll, we'll progress so we're working on this fellow alrighty so he's getting taken to the carpenters all right so you sir just a moment i i do just want to poke around slightly i can actually go back upstairs if i want to curious if there's anything in there no so that's those two bodies that we found previously that's that's you I don't know what happened with you sir I'm pretty sure that you're the bosun though it's going to check in those rooms make sure I haven't missed anything there 
Got a cannon that's gone through the wall there. And you, um, that's where they were having that conversation about tell Pete's mum, I, I believe. All right, I think I've worked it. I, I think I'm feeling okay. You do swap back and forth between the chapters, but I think that's to allow the different sections of the boat uh, to actually open up to you. That's the artist there. And you and when they open up and you find a new area, you may find a new body. I, I think, look, I'm just trying my best. It is a little bit, it is a little bit daunting to try and work out everything. I can see the little lights. Um, moving outside, which usually depict that there's something out there to see. I'm just going to see what I mean. Like out, out there, there's something. I think there's something outside. Going to check if I can get around there. Oh yes, there is something there, but perhaps I've seen you. No, I haven't seen you. All right, well, let's work on on this one. <laughs> Lazarette. shoot the damned thing were they talking about um what's that huh <laughs> who are you sir okay there's something going on inside oh there's something happening in there isn't there look What's that? A spider? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing there? Just hiding. Don't blame you. <gasps> wow. I don't want a new chapter. I'm still working on the other one. What? Am, I must be doing something wrong. I have to be doing something wrong here. I've got to be doing something wrong. I'm truly sorry. I don't know what to say. I think I, I'm doing something wrong because I was trying to do something else and then it's put me, it's put me here. Oh, what? What's happened with you? Is that spikes coming out of you? My goodness. That fellow. He does look like he's been spiked. Interesting. Um, because I feel that that I, I shouldn't be looking at that just yet. I may actually. 
maybe I've just unlocked more bodies, like the more bodies that I find. But I'm going to go back to this fellow. Okay, so perhaps he died from illness then. So that, to me, seems like he could be the doctor. So who's that fellow? Okay, so you are, I reckon you're the doctor, sir. Oh, wow. Alrighty, well, we've got quite a few things here to see. <laughs> He's just chilling. He's just chilling out. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, bye. Bye, scene. A bit of cold. In the surgeon's room. Who is this? How do they die? Well, did he die by being sick? illness there same as the other fellow some lung disease not consumption seven others were present um that guy he's the doctor so he would be the surgeon then i believe the surgeon um, I'm curious to see the surgeon's mate. You would think that the surgeon's mate would be in there. That's got to be the surgeon. Who are you? Oh, okay. Right, right. So that's Captain First Mate. I'm not really sure how to tell... He's obviously the second or third mate, but <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to decipher. Right, so we're back out here to look at that fellow. So, I... No idea. No idea what happened to you, sir. I'm sorry. We'll find out at some point. So that's the sick guy, wasn't it? Okay, so you were... Um, you, you were sick. You were sick. Then the next one that we should look at is this unfortunate soul <laughs> Russian <laughs> he's sick too oh wow Oh, okay. I think all these people are ill.
Syed. He said his name. Okay, okay, keep that in mind. Either these... Oh, they, they have a tattoo. Either these people are ill. Or... They're sleeping. It, the chapter is called A Bitter Cold, which does make me think that, um, that they did get, get, get sick. Now, you can see that this guy is saying to that fellow, Syed, get up, drink something. So, you, is there someone called Syed? Are the first name, last name... There, Solomon Syed from India. I think he was, he was sick. Right. Oh, nice. Nice, so that was Brennan. Excellent. So now we have six fates solved. Goodness me. I mean, it's not easy, but certainly very fun. It's sort of like an interactive game of Sudoku, isn't it? You just have to you just you just have to try and work it out. Now look, I am curious. That's Syed. You're Syed. Uh-huh. Solomon Syed. Um I'm not sure. Something that is interesting to me are the numbers on the hammock like that says number 51 i am wanting to look at the crew my only complaint is that i wish this page goes down quicker <laughs> number 51 oh 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 i just moved my mouse oh, i'm an idiot renfred rajub from india could now hear me out here could could that be him look i think these people are dead unless they're just sleeping i don't know everyone's dead on this boat so literally they could be dead 56 55 so I can't see their face so I can see that guy he's if I if I'm correct he is number 51 Renfred Rajub so look I'm I'm gonna do it I am going to Put his name down as Renfred Rajub. I can always change it back if I need to, right? Okay, your number, you, you've got an X on you, sir. Hang on. An X. Does that mean that you are number 10? Because X is 10. I, I honestly, I'm concerned. He does kind of look like a carpenter. I can't see the other people though. One of them did have a tattoo. <gasps> this fellow, you have a tattoo and you're number 37. Okay, what I'm gonna do 
is check the the crew picture for someone with a tattoo and what number are you 37 all right let's check this is gonna take me a little while to check everyone's pictures damn you know there's not a lot of people that have their arms out all right i may just have to leave that for now because i cannot see the fellow with the with the tattoos unfortunately um it, it i will remember that i will remember that what number was he again he was number 37 let's check on the little roster here Timothy Butamont, Topman, Topman from Scotland. Look, I'm wondering if all these people are sick or they're just sleeping. I've got no idea. If you look, um, look here, look here. If we go to, what was it called? A bit of cold? And there was a section about stop your cheating, worry about yourself. They're obviously. Uh, obviously Russian, but there's three of them there. So I don't think I'm able to pinpoint. I mean, who's who? Hang on. You're like you're a gunman or something. Well, who were, who were you, sir? Shot. I don't know if you're Russian. I don't know what uniform you're wearing either. I wouldn't have a clue. There's um there's three Russians there on the, on the list, but it's pretty difficult right now to narrow down who they are. So I'm just going to leave that for now. I think that's about all I can do. That's about all I can do for now because I'm unable to determine who these other people are. I mean, some of them only have shoes. A lot of them aren't showing their face. But if I can narrow down that person with the tattoo, I'm gonna write that down. The tattoo is number 37. So that will help eventually. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep that in mind. We'll keep that in mind, guys. All right, I think I'm done in this section don't know if there's anything else for me to look at all I can see are just shoes <laughs> not enough and not enough for me to look at all right let's um let's exit the door and move on I think getting there we're doing we're doing okay though it, it is extremely it's, it's extremely difficult but I gotta say man I love it I really do I think the only one that I haven't looked at is this fellow so I'm just gonna go and check him out Oof. 
Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> My goodness. That's um that's a giant crab? Spider? Oh, you've been stabbed. Yes, he's been stabbed by that thing. Interesting. Not good. Not a great scenario. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so that guy, he was, um, that's the butcher. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I still want to keep playing, but I just don't want the episodes to be too long. So I'm just going to break it up here and go and record the next bit because I'm really into it. And I actually really, really like it. So far, we've managed to put together the fates of six people, their names and their outcomes, their, the cause of, of their deaths. I have to say at some points I do get a little bit confused with the shifting back and forth between the chapters, but I think that's just maybe when I find a, a body that I didn't find previously when I was able to. It seems really awesome I really like this game though I do kind of think that it is difficult it is hard but it's a lot of fun to piece together what's happening who killed who how did someone die find out what their names are and I think for me I'm not doing too badly I have managed to find out the identities of six people which is not bad you know I'm, I'm proud of myself for what I've done so far look I don't know how easy or difficult other people find it but it takes it takes time to get through it and to work out everything that's going on but I am genuinely enjoying it it's awesome i really really love it I'm looking forward to playing the next bit right now i really hope you enjoyed this episode thank you guys so so much for watching i will see you in the next video have a wonderful day bye <laughs>